Good morning, it's 10.37 a.m. and we're about to get started. So I've just arrived at Emerald Mound in Natchez, Mississippi. This is the second largest Indian mound in the United States. So this is a little bit more information about the mound. Construction started around 1350 AD, which is just insane to even think about. And for perspective, this is my car and this is the mound. It's about eight acres of soil. Um, at the surface and it goes way up to that top part up there. So I'd like to go ahead and establish why I decided to come out to this mound today. The CDC reports that the average life expectancy of a Native American adult male is 5.1 years less than a non-Hispanic white male. And I think this statistic is very eye-opening because as America and the United States is very relatively well-developed, urbanized, um, industrial, the fact that we still have a huge, almost half a decade less life expectancy for one group or population is just mind-blowing to me. Also, according to the CDC, Native American Alaskan Natives adults are three times as likely to be diagnosed with diabetes than non-Hispanic white males. I think this is also... Um, a snapshot of the issue that the life expectancy has shown, that there's obviously um, reasons and ways we can go into the population and examine alternatives and avenues to combat these issues that may be preventable, maybe not in all cases, but probably most or at least a large portion of them, as diabetes can relatively be controlled depending on the type through an active lifestyle, change of diet, um, and other factors along with their health. So I definitely think there's a lot of research that needs to be done into looking into ways we can address these issues. So speaking about the 5.1 years of life expectancy less than an average non-Hispanic white male, I think that is a snapshot of where we need to focus our health programs. Um, to think that a population that is a minority should just accept that they're half a decade going to live less because they're a minority, I think is an unacceptable, unacceptable mindset. And we need to figure out as health professionals how to eliminate barriers and promote health in our most vulnerable populations. In conclusion, the ways that I think the best way to tackle diabetes and to bring that life expectancy closer to average. Um, it's outlined in my paper on my grant proposal. I'd also like to add a little bit of comments from a few of my friends and colleagues about how they support Native American health research. Thank you. Hi, my name is Michael Civitano. I am from Westchester County, New York, and I support Native American health research. Hi, my name is Emily Pluckham from California, Maryland, and I support the Native American Health Research. Hi, this is Cody from Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and a second year medical student, and I support the Native American Health Research because I believe that Native American health matters. Well, I am back home safe and sound, and this concludes today's little miniature adventure into Native American Health, and the Emerald Indian Mound in Natchez, Mississippi. Um, I want to end with something that I thought was very interesting. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention states diabetes is currently the seventh leading cause of death in the United States, and studies show that the death-related incidences of diabetes may be underreported. One in 10 U.S. adults have diabetes, and if this trend continues, one in five will have it by 2025. The reason I find this last statistic so alarming and just interesting in general is because that one in five ratio is referring to the United States as a whole. As we already know and I've already previously stated, 
Native Americans are three times as likely to develop diabetes today. So with the prevalence of diabetes going up for the general population in the next two few years, um, I think it's very interesting to see what the data looks like whenever today they already have higher rates. But whenever that general population hits that plateau, what are their rates going to look like then? So I definitely think it's important for local health officials and as well as federal, state, um, and interdisciplinary team essentially to go ahead and look at ways we can combat the prevalence of diabetes among this population. Um, in my research paper, I express interest in the Navajo Reservation, which is one of the largest in the United States and is very diverse with multiple different tribes. I think it would be a very good sample size to run some initiatives and programs and just implement change and see what works, what doesn't work. And then from there, take what does work and apply it to other reservations, populations, and just expand and build upon it as we go. Um, but I definitely think we need to have action today so we can have a healthier tomorrow.